what is up everyone we're here with a big review here super seven we just got these in a trade um so yeah we're gonna pop these super seven figures open and we're gonna see what they look like here and we'll start we'll get we'll open the carl anderson first as most of you all know super seven comes in a cardboard box like this super seven impact wrestling I guess you can count these as Impact Wrestling figures, but yeah, they come in like this. They come in wrapped up, and then they come in another box. So if you want, you can keep this box or throw it away. I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm just going to throw it over there. But I do like to keep my boxes for my AWs and my Super 7 figures. So comes in a package like this. Um, I think both packages are unique so but we'll look at this one first talk at shop they both have the beer ski championships i think they both have different camos i mean they're really unique here uh we'll get this title off without fucking up anything i mean yeah um yeah this is a little difficult but you know what we can leave it on there we can just leave it on there there's nothing special in there. All you got to do is slide this camo package off. And all these bullet holes are actually go through. So that's a little cool detail. But yeah, that's it. I don't think there's anything special behind that. Just more camo. But here, excuse me, sorry. Here is the packaging for the Carl Anderson. I got to say, I love the Super 7 figures. They're not the greatest in articulation, but they're just so fun and cool and their packaging so always great here's the back end machine gun carl anderson in his camo gear that he's worn only once little description here little impact logo there super seven i do have the series one super seven of new japan which i really love and if you guys know um i use the okada in my fed so yeah but yeah that is the carl anderson in the box i'm gonna open the doc gallows here real quick but yeah, we're going to have a few more videos like this. I got some new figures I'm going to show off that are, I guess, will be good for reviews. I haven't seen a lot of people review these figures I got. But yeah, chuck that over there. Might use those boxes for shipping stuff. But yeah, but same thing. And a little package here. Same little box. Just little tiny different details. Even though they're a tag team, he comes in with this different camo. He came in with the digital camo. He came in with a different camo. But same same championship and everything. Still got bullet holes in there that all go all the way through. Just slide it off here. We'll start off in the back. Big LG logo. A little description here. Dot Gallows. Good picture here. Um, I already know there's a lot of complaints with this one. Right off the bat, you can see the tattoos are messed up. Um, and then I noticed someone said that that's supposed to be closed. It's not supposed to be open, but I don't. Those are just little things. But I still really like these figures, so I might want to get centered. But also came with uh, this. Came with the extra head with the little. We'll, we'll look at this later. But yeah, let's. Um, but that's the packaging. I really like the packaging. I'm going to probably, when I just get my display up, going to have it like this. And then the figure there, I don't know yet. May have it like this. I'll figure out something. But, yeah, let's um, let's crack these two mother effers up and look at them in more detail. All righty, we got the Carl Anderson out first. Uh, we'll go one by one here because I got a lot of stuff with them. We'll go with the head first, the hands, normal stuff. You got your open hands, your my holding hands, all that stuff, pointer hand. But here's the heads here. We'll go with this one. Kind of weird looking, but he's got a screaming head. I like it. It's kind of cartoony, but, I mean, I like them. They're going to work out in the Fed. I thought these were going to be better than their Elite ones to get just because they have those extra heads. They're just different. I don't see a lot of people use these ones. So here's another one, just a little smirk here. I mean, it looks just like An Carl Anderson. Yeah, another one, just a straight one. He kind of looks sad and derpy in this one. Lazy eye there. Uh, and they also come with this can here. 
which is very, very cool. Talking shop, Bierski, Luke Gallows there, Carl Anderson there, Bierski's, um, I'm not sure who that guy is. I can't really tell. But these are really, really detailed. I really like the beer skis. Um, so, yeah, those are really cool. But let's get more into the figure itself. Get a close-up of this head. Kind of got a smirk here. The tattoos are all right. They're not super vibrant, but, I mean, they look good. You know, the articulation ain't the best, but, I mean, it's going to work out for what I want to do with them. They're gonna. I'm, I'm going to put on decent matches with them, so... I mean, the skin tone's a lot better than what the New, J the New Japan ones were, so. So, yeah. But, yeah. This one's really stiff. The gear, I love the gear. He doesn't really wear these anymore. This is more of his New Japan era, so I like that. I always wanted him in these. I like the trunk gear. Machine gun. Looks really awesome here. I like the knee pads, the bullet holes, and all that stuff. Boots look good. You got the New Japan ones here, but that's all right. I don't, I don't mind if accuracy doesn't have to be perfect. Tattoos again. I really like, I, I don't know why, but I really like using these in feds. They're simple. They don't, they don't articulate perfectly, but they do just enough where I can make it look good. So that, that's the Carl Anderson there. Um, yeah. I'll talk about the, what I think about them at the end, but let's go into the Luke Gallows next alrighty here's the big LG Doc Gallows here gonna start off the heads but I will say these hands are really cool I like the detail they put into the the hand tape it's textured it's not just painted on I like that little extra detail here but we go in with the heads here it's a normal straight faced head with his long beard as you can tell the one that is on him right now is messed up that's why I got that extra head Here's the hat one. The hat does not come off. Just a straight fair beer ski hat. They all look pretty good. They all look pretty well like him. Both the screaming heads are a little, little weird, but I mean, it It looks good. Looks good to me. Um, same little beer ski thing. I'm not going to show that again, but here is the... This head's really unique. It's the same, this is supposed to be what was on it with the little ponytail thing, a little... Uh, rubber band piece there, but it somehow it messed up on production, so they sent these out for people that pre-ordered it. So that's that head supposed to be. So yeah, that's that head. But let's get into the figure a little more. See, you can tell it's the exact same head, just different beard. Um, I saw a video that said this was supposed to be con joined at the bottom, but I mean, I don't even, I don't even, I wouldn't even noticed if I didn't watch that video. Got his logo there. The camo looks really good, I think. The logo on the back. But these boots are really unique. I like the, the tassels on the edges and the little buckles. That looks really good. But you can tell they're supposed to be joined here. The tattoos are messed up down the middle here. Um, so, yeah. His elbows are a little tight. I mean, both figures are really, really tight. So, they're not going to be. They're not super loose skin. Right down the middle here. But yeah, the figure's really tight. This elbow's not even a little tough to get on there. But all in all, I really like these figures. And we'll move on to the end part. And I'll give my thoughts on them. Alrighty. Gotta get that centered in there. So I'm sorry. All in all, these figures are pretty good. I think they're going to turn out pretty good in the Fed. Uh, they're going to be something different. I don't see a lot of people using these figures. So that'll be cool. Um, the boxes are great as always. They look great. I like that they're different. They're different from their elites a lot. And I mean, to be honest, I really like the Super 7s in the Fed. I used the Okada, and I think I put on a really great match with Okada, and he is moving all around. Okada and Kenny Omega, and I think these two are going to be great. I've been wanting the Good Brothers in the Fed for a while. Um, what the heck is going on with him? But he, but yeah, I really love these figures. Um, if you like this video, like it, uh, comment, uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, there will be an, another video just like this for the Young Bucks GameStop exclusives. And yeah, that's how we're going to end the video. Alrighty, guys. Bye. <laughs>
Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube.